Spirit Princess of the Water by Gillian Macbeth Lowthen. Website www.thequantumawakening.com Aloha. I am Spirit Princess of the Water, of the land of Hawaii. I come as asked, to position myself within your hearts, as you feel the bloom of the hibiscus and the orchid in your being. As you feel the green of the highest peaks of the islands, as you feel the hot desires of the body of Mother Earth, as lava, as you feel the tropical breezes within, and without. For many years before I was birthed fully into spirit, I angered much with those that disfigured the sacred land. I was angry about how they changed the land, and the landscape of my future, my children's future, and my children's children's future. I knew as did my peoples, the sacredness of all, of every pebble, every shell, every granule of sand, every particle of dirt. Everything was alive and spoke to me as I walked through my day. I heard the call of the birds, of the bees, of the insects, of the animals, and all were at peace with themselves. And then, progress was born. Progress that pushed away all that I held sacred. Progress that devastated the land, the people and the ancient ways. The people learned to hold all that was holy and sacred within themselves, even though the earth was barren around them they still held the sacredness of land, the ocean, the air, and the fire within themselves. They closed down much of their sensories, because they could not physically endure the pain of annihilation, an annihilation of a history that went deeper than the ocean. An annihilation of customs that were looked upon with disdain, an annihilation of peace, for it was all outwardly taken. Every culture on the planet Earth has experienced this, even those of the white skin. The energy of what one holds sacred always seems to come under attack by outside disturbing forces. It is by only focusing on the outsideness that one draws pain and confusion into themselves. By opening the doorway to separation one draws continuing devastation. Seek to become all. In embracing allness, it does not mean just what is pure and lily and white, it means all. For as long as you separate yourself from that which disgusts you or hurts you or angers you, you will not come into wholeness within your own being. This is the state of union that you were birthed to experience. On the earth there is great polarity. When the wind blows in one direction, the sands shifts in another, the water curls in another, the fire becomes an ember. When the direction of your life shifts unexpectedly, and all that you took for granted are no longer there, then you have received an invitation into expansion. It is this expansion that draws you into itself through the energy of contraction. You must walk through the solidified lava tunnel of what is dark, and what was once fiery and hot to find the sacred place along the shoreline. All things that make themselves known to you do it, because you are vibrationally in sameness. Whether it is the trees that fall, a house that falls, a heart that falls. If it is close to you, and you can see it and hear it, then it is asking to be brought into your vision, to the soul of your being to look at it, and behold what is unfolded as it is birthed. As a human being you have conformed and stayed in between the lines, and the vanilla boxes of your life where you think you are safe and sheltered, not seen nor heard. In that zone of comfort there is no growth. Iwakini, come on this day to ask you to allow the contractions of your life, to birth you into expansion, prompting you to look from another angle, another perception. You seem to think that your five senses are so limited. Each one of them gives you a multitude of gifts. It is up to you to transform the perception. You can hear the neighborhood animals barking and growling or you can hear the birds singing behind that. 
you can hear trees falling or you can hear souls changing forms and being released. You can hear water crashing on the shore eating sand for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or you can see life sculpting itself into something new. In this next month there will be several doorways that offer you opportunities to birth yourself in a higher octave of awareness. I speak about birthing all of your senses, your consciousness, your subconsciousness, your body, your intentions, and your attentions. Looking at everything as a sacred gift, and a sacred opportunity to move from contraction, fear, and anger into another form. Your anger and hate pollute yourself and the earth. Your life is a miracle. Bless it. Breathing is a miracle, bless it. Everything is there because you constructed it. You are dreaming it, and it is dreaming you. You are your neighbor's dream and your neighbors are your dream. When you want to shift, you shall. When you want to wake yourself up from that dream, you shall. But until then you will continue to dream all connecting, all experiencing, all birthing. Become as water, shift and change and flow and contract, and expand and rise, and lower yourselves all throughout your day. Do not settle long enough, or nest in any anger or any fears, but relax your body and move away from it. You cannot undo what has been done. You cannot undo what a high percentage of your population has deemed as correct, whether it is war or clearing land. But you can bless all, after and during the fact. What hurts you, bless it. What angers you, bless it. What binds you, bless it. For the vibration of bless, has a lessening effect. Lessening by blessing, you lessen the effect. The lesson is in the blessing. Your lessons to learn, your lessons to release. Look at when you bless another very deeply. Now for much more is happening than you have ever surveyed in the past. I bless you. Aloha from my heart to yours.